in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. La voce di Maria dentro l'anima mia come un balsamo scende sulle ferite e le porta via la voce di Maria dolce melodia che ci porta al cuore sempre di più nel cuore di Gesù le mani di Maria for our good night message on this Monday the 31st of May 2021 the last day of the month dedicated to our blessed virgin mary broadcasting from the salesian pontifical university rome italy by your servant father eustace siame a salesian of don bosco we listen to this message in line with the feast we celebrated today entitled lessons from the visitation of the blessed virgin mary celebrated today the feast of the visitation bringing to a conclusion the month devoted to our blessed mother the account of mary's visitation to elizabeth from luke's gospel chapter 1 verse 39 to 56 is what we took today and here are the lessons we draw from this lovely visitation of our blessed virgin mary The first lesson is put a little pep in your step. Luke's account of the visitation opens with the following line. In those days Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country. The phrase that always jumps off the page at me is in haste. Mary went in haste to be of service to her cousin Elizabeth whom she had just found out was pregnant in her old age mind you she didn't have a car she might have even gone walking over the hills for hours if not days we have to understand also that Mary was pregnant and uh, we know what that entails at least women know that and you know very well when you are pregnant you don't do much in haste but she did what lesson do we learn from mary mary was ready and willing to quickly provide service to someone in need she went in haste she didn't agonize over it check her calendar weigh the pros and cons opposed to consider what might be in it for her opposed to consider what might be in it for her she went in haste to help it's a lesson that we have to draw ourselves when it comes to helping other people we must overlook our own predicament we must stop being victims in our lives and and take out others from their victim confinement the other lesson we draw is that service requires sacrifice we live in an instant gratification culture watching the microwave tick down the last 30 seconds of cooking the 4 minute frozen dinner often leaves me impatiently tapping my fingers on the counter yet most things in life don't happen in an instant and people's real needs are rarely met in the span of 20 minute sitcom st luke tells us that mary's visit to mary lasted for three months luke chapter 1 verse 56 Mary was willing 
to make the sacrifice necessary to help meet Elizabeth's needs. True Christian service requires a heart open to sacrifice and an attitude of putting others' needs before our own. The third lesson we draw from this experience of the visitation is that the Holy Spirit helps us recognize Jesus. The scriptures tell us, When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Luke chapter 1 verse 41 to 43. Because Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, she was able to recognize the presence of Jesus in the womb of Mary and proclaim those beautiful words that we recite in every Hail Mary. St. Paul tells us, No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 3. It is the Holy Spirit who enables us to recognize the Lord Jesus even when he is hidden from our senses as he was from Elizabeth. We must daily ask the Holy Spirit to fill us as he filled her so that we too are able to recognize Jesus in others whom we meet, even in our relatives. The fourth lesson we draw is that there is joy in encountering the Lord. It is an unmistakable feeling when your unborn child makes a sudden move in your womb. I am sure for the mothers, those who have gone through childbearing, there is some joy when you hear some movements in your womb of a child, of your own child. Luke tells us that John the Baptist leapt for joy in Elizabeth's womb at the sound of Mary's voice. Luke chapter 1 verse 44. Pope St. John Paul II calls the mystery of the visitation a mystery of joy. He says, But what is the mysterious concealed source of such joy? It is Jesus. Mary had already conceived him through the work of the Holy Spirit, and he is now beginning to defeat what is at the root of fear, of anxiety, of sadness, sin, the most humiliating slavery for man. Let us pray with expectant faith that in all of our encounters with the Lord Jesus, whether in prayer, in the sacraments, or in the love of another, we may feel the joy that the unborn John the Baptist felt. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Yo que di María Dentro la anima mía Scava no grito en el cuore Shoyendo el hielo y se lo porta a mí Sempre di più il nome di Gesù Lo sguardo di Maria Dentro l'anima mia La sua tenerezza e splendida bellezza Immensità Cantare
Thank you.